psychiatrist with the State Department in Moscow. So, Doctor, I really appreciate your time. You have extensive experience on this, and you have studied Putin extensively. That was among your roles. So when you look at every piece of information you have, all the appearances that he has given in these recent days, these speeches that have all come at the late hours of the night or the very, very early hours of the morning, do you see any changes that are obvious to you, or is this the same Putin you're familiar with? Yes and no, Aaron. Thank you for having me. Let me explain the no part first. This is the same Putin that has directed the horrific attacks in Grozny in Georgia in 2008, in Crimea in 2014, and in Syria in, in 2015 and 2016. This is the same Putin who killed, uh, had Litvinenko killed with polonium-210, a nuclear weapon, in London in 2006, and who attempted to poison Sergei Skripal in 2018 uh, with Novichok, a chemical weapon. So in that sense, no. But the yes part, there's a tragic tale here, Aaron. If you frame two speeches, in the one given 20 years ago, when President Putin spoke to the Bundestag in German, a beautiful speech where he got a standing ovation, he talked about how he saw Russia as part of Europe, as integrated with Europe and European culture and history. And then you compare that to his speech uh, last Monday uh, after the meeting with his National Security Council that was shown on international TV. There's a sobering and very tragic difference in those speeches. Tragic for President Putin, who would have perhaps before this been recognized as one of the greatest leaders in Russian history. Certainly tragic for the people of Ukraine and for the courageous President Zelensky, for the West, for NATO, and for the world. So it is interesting because the top officials who serve both uh, presidents of both parties have, we have started to hear this drumbeat, you know, that he's changed or that there's something deeply wrong. You know, a lot of people are saying it doesn't mean they know, but a lot of people who have a lot of credibility are saying it. Here's a few. This is a different Putin. He was always calculating and cold, but, uh, this is different. He seems uh, erratic. For me, the, the, it's a significant difference in the, in the way he has historically behaved. This behavior is different than in the past. This all seems to me like, in some respect, he's gone off the rails. Off the rails, erratic. Are you comfortable with either of those descriptions, doctor? Uh, no, with all due respect to my senior colleagues, I think what we have here is an intelligence failure uh, on the part of Putin's intelligence agencies. And, and Putin hmm. must be very, very angry and disappointed. That, that Meaning they, they told him he'd be welcomed with open arms. That, and, he would be, yeah. that, that this would be over in 48 hours. And the courageous uh, Ukrainian people uh, have, have fought, and, and the courage of President Zelensky, they fought back. Putin is an eighth degree in judo. And what we have here is is the young judo master president Zelensky has choked him out and that's a wonderful thing for the world to see especially at a time after covid uh the other thing i would i would say is i don't think he's erratic or changed but he certainly is in more of a hurry uh and that's that's a very important question which is why now why not wait why not why not play out his brilliant strategy that was working short of a full invasion the saddest thing here, the most tragic thing, is Putin has gone from being a respected uh, world leader uh, when he first came to power to, to he's now looking more and more like Russia's Slobodan Milosevic. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, doctor. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So on Sunday uh, in Hungary, I saw families at rest stops and you knew exactly who the Ukrainians were because they were white and exhausted and just their faces, just you just could see it. And when you talk to them and ask them where they were going, some didn't know. Even on the airplane, you'd see 